two people. Yeah. <laughs> Three <laughs> hours later. <laughs> Our family would be the only one locked in. Jordan oh. Rudolph. There's Jordan. Yeah. Right. There we go. We're live. Woo! Wait, there's two All people right. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> Three hours. There we go. We're alive. One of them's, okay. one of them's me. <laughs> one of them's me. <laughs> The top left is not reflecting. Now we got one. Oh, oh, that's one. me. Okay, never mind. Right, it's Mike. It's me. I just walked out. Let's watch you go to zero. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, all right. Yep, there we go. I don't see us. All right, there we go. Guys oh, there we are. Everyone lock in, all right? There's tens yeah. of people here. Yeah, a dozen. All right, well. We'll give it a second to see if people actually. We'll wait until the number goes down again. The minute we see it go back down again, and then we'll start talking about stuff. Uh, Wes uh, says hello. Wes says hello. Hello, Wes. Hello, Wes. Wes, thank, hello, you, Wes. Wes, thank yep. you. Yeah, Wes Barner. There we go. That's a cool All right, oh. we're up at 1923. Woo! Hey! Fuck yeah! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're going to say, Jesus. <laughs> Everybody's here for Bula. You can swear on this, yes. can't you? Better be able to, or Sydney yeah. can never be on again. Yeah, you know, maybe just see myself out right now. Everybody's here to meet the, the newest Golik. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna Simba him in front of the ca Simba cam. Which, by the way, of all the latest innovations in stadium camera things, Simba cam by far my favorite. Yeah. I have not seen it yet. Yeah. I've heard about it, but I've not seen it. I just saw when The Rock was out doing his press tour for Black Adam, somebody, they like, didn't they? They crowd, they, surfed, they, a crowd, surfed, crowd him. surfed a baby all the way to it. What? Yeah. It honestly made yes. me believe in humanity again. Everyone was so well, gentle. They crowd they were. surfed a baby. They crowd I don't, surfed a baby. Wait, the parents the were okay with that? They oh, had to start it unless they somebody ripped the children from their arms. I don't know. I was going to say, as someone who watched the movie Mother, I'm really uncomfortable oh with a crowd of people handling a baby. Yeah. You just, you just gave me PTSD. They ate that baby. Yeah. That was awful. It was a really scary movie. I didn't it like was. that. Um, I didn't like it either. Yeah. Um, well, guys, welcome to everyone. Yeah. Is that the scariest movie you've ever seen that isn't a, a horror movie? Are I we sure it's I mean, not technically a horror movie? Yeah, was that not considered a horror movie? It's got to be considered a horror movie, oh. right? I think it was technically like a psychological thriller, but it was definitely up there. Um, I'm pretty sure everything Darren Aronofsky ever made in his life has affected yeah. me worse than any horror movie I've ever seen in my life. Like Requiem for a Dream? I never saw I never that. Saw Requiem oh, for a Dream. oh, don't. Don't. No. Don't, don't, don't unless, do it, blood man. Yes, yeah. You don't. You don't want. You don't want that kind of juice. I we lost know. two viewers. It's time to get the show on the road. Oh, come on. No, you don't want that evil, Ricky Bobby. All right, welcome to Sorry in Advance, the Gold Shake from the top I'm rope. Mike, <laughs> I'm Mike Gold Jr. Uh, with me, as always, my entire family. If you're new here. Uh, Mike Golick Sr., my dad, who's probably, if you know someone from this group and you're new here, it's probably the guy in the green polo. Um, my mom, Chris Golick, uh, my brother Jake, his wife Jenny, my sister Sydney, and super producer Mikey A., who's made all this possible. So round of applause for Mikey A. for getting this off the ground. Everybody clap it up, Mikey A. Uh, shout out to the tens of people that showed up here. Bobby C., Tracy C., Wes Varner. Lots of C's in here and keeping with the bachelor bachelorette tradition of weekend observations and just making everyone their name and last initial uh works out pretty well um but yeah our family uh for again if every podcast is someone's first podcast my mom decided the best way to keep tabs on us all was to get us together for a podcast that usually records bi-weekly some of you sickos along the way have done this which makes sense because we grew up having our thoughts feelings and worst moments broadcast on national radio for a big public audience to see so uh so yeah so some of you might know us some of you don't either way we appreciate you coming here and uh we had a bunch of stuff planned uh over the course of the podcast we have a since we have video and the famously visual medium of podcasting we've got a live taste test of crumble cookies which have been hot in the streets in the news lately mikey c or mikey a excuse me got all the seasons whoa <laughs> whoa i know i know whoa. Wow. he is jack whoa. now <laughs> but Mikey, okay. Mikey A has never had crumble cookie, and so 
he is going to sample for the first time, which gave us uh, the excuse to go ahead and try and sample for the first time, or the many a time. It's like my first time this week. Yeah, exactly. For the first time this week, we'll have crumble. We didn't want Mikey A to eat alone, so. Well, I no, appreciate exactly that. Right. And, and which one are we excited about today? For for those Ooh. for those first timers again. The birthday um, cake. Ben, Sydney's Sydney's husband Ben is not on this. Uh, on this podcast today. He is a med student in Scottsdale. So he has he is, better things. He's to doing do like that. real shit. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to taste like test us. cookies, do weird. Would you rather's and then, uh, get a, we still have Ben being the doctor usually does a brain buster. He sent it along to Sydney. Whose direct quote upon receiving the text was, I can't pronounce any of these words. So that should go exceptionally well here. Uh, Oscar says, Dunde Asta Jackson, uh, uh -huh. you know, say, uh, we think Jackson's sleeping now? right now. Yeah. Is it time? Camo. We'll present him. We'll present him. Is it time to present so we're, The reason we're all together but in different rooms right now is because Jackson's getting baptized this week. He's finding Christ's saving light. There Here he is. is. Hey! Get him, baby. Hey! Hey! <laughs> 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 looks yeah. Power. Yeah. Here we go. Crowd surf the baby. <laughs> Jackson. That's Jackson. <laughs> yeah. So the amazing thing here is that Sydney and Mike, Jake and Jenny asked them to be the godparents, which is a scary thought because we all know what that means. If something were to happen to Jake and Jenny, I'd like to know, start with you, Sydney, what would be your first act as then guardian and parent of said Jackson? And to be you. Excuse me? <laughs> Oh Hand them God. right back to them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, well, probably I would go to Boston. I'd pick them up. I'd fly them back out to Arizona, and I'd drive them right up the road to mom and dad's house. And... That, is, that is true, because I'm not going to lie. We had our first – so we had all been waiting around with anxious anticipation for uh, Jackson to drop his first deuce in all of our presents because he makes quite a show of it. Yeah. Um, and – Jake flagged me and Sydney both over to try and have one of us change the diaper. And after seeing and smelling what I saw, I just don't know if kids are going to be in the cards for me. I just, you know, I, I think a lifetime of uncledom seems like it might suit me well because that young man made some stuff that I do not have in me. I, I just don't know if I do. Wait, I wasn't home. You didn't change it? No, I watched no, Sid Jake. Sydney, oh there. Sydney, you didn't do it. No, I was I was prepared to. He handed me the wipes, and then Jake just started going after. And I watched so, all the nooks and crannies I'm supposed to get in for next time. Just kicked so, in, and I just started no. doing it. So yeah. Jake, how how quickly do you get over the fact that it's puke and poop that you don't it's even care money. anymore? Yeah, you don't you don't care. My big thing I talked about a while ago on the pod was snot. Um, I'm not a fan of snot. <laughs> And now I just I don't care. I'll I'll pick anything out of his nose. It's all good. So you get over it very quickly because you really have no choice. Yeah, I had a choice, so I I, I turned and ran. I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I I had a choice every once in a while, and it was for me. It was spit up. Spit up was the thing where it was mm. that's yours. Everything else I could have handled. Spit up. It's it's that baby white goopy vomit that I'm like, nope, that's. That yep. came out of you, and you can go ahead and just take it right back. Have you ever been had them like holding them and had them vomit into your mouth? Yeah, I had that happen, <laughs> and it was not good. Yeah, it that's was, a tough one. It was not good. So Stephanie oh. just said, "Why do I feel Jenny is breastfeeding right now? Jenny no. is not breastfeeding. Jenny's not right breastfeeding. Now. She's yeah, not she's not. This like time, Wes Varn, like Wes Varner said, I can't eat cookie buddy butter any longer thanks to my kids, which sounds like oh. it's an experience." Kind of yeah. like yours, mom. So, yeah. Wes, we're yeah. sorry for your loss because cookie butter rocks. Really good. We're, we're, it does. I can't see. Who can see comments? You got to open up the <laughs> chat feature on the side yeah. of it. There's like a little chat yeah. text box. A red dot. Okay. Yeah. So, you can see all that there. But, yes, yeah, so this is Jackson. Uh, everyone, uh, please leave your uh, comment F to pay a respect to Bra to uh, Jackson in the chat. Um, let him know you're feeling, uh, you're feeling his presence here. and you He's reading him right now. He is. He's yeah, no. Look at him. He's reading them. Uh -huh. He's reading the comments. So again, if you don't comment yeah. F to pay respect to Jackson, he will feel some type of way about it. And we don't want him to meet the Lord tomorrow, having that on his conscience. We're gonna wipe <laughs> away the original original sin. It's gonna be great stuff. So <laughs> yes, oh God. yes. All right. Should we get to the cookies? Why delay? Well, I also wanted to ask Dad a question because I oh. just thought about this. Um, God, get to the cookies. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I, I know we're gonna get to the cookies, but I did just think because everyone was talking about Draymond Green punching that dude and uh, punching uh, Jordan Poole in the face. Dad, do you ever get punched in the face by Reggie? Reggie would not punch somebody in the face. I got punched in the face on the field by someone on another team. Um, his name was Kevin Gogan. He played for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was a third down, and we stopped him, and there was a scrum after the play. And he was taller than me, and he had my face mask, and he had my head twisted. And he did like a Mike Tyson six-inch punch. And, I mean, he connected. He got under my face mask and everything. And uh, I had to say it was a great shot by him. And I, I took my helmet off after, and it was third down, and we were running, or it's going to be fourth down, so we were coming off the field. And I took my helmet off, and I saw the trainers running out onto the field. And I kind of looked behind me, like, you know, who are they running for? And I didn't see anybody. All of a sudden, I see they're running at me. And they stop in front of me. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? And, and they go, are you all right? And I'm like, why? What's the matter? They said, your face is covered in blood. It turns out when he punched me, he exploded my lip. And it shot up into my face. And on the inside of my helmet, the inside of my face mask was all splattered with blood as well. And I had this huge cut on my lip, but I didn't even feel it. And, and they got this towel they're wiping. I'm like, holy shit, I'm bleeding everywhere. And I even went up to Gogan after the game. I said, dude, nice punch, man. You opened me up pretty good. That's so, classic uh, dad being completely yeah. unaware of what's happening. <laughs> yeah. completely, completely unaware. Completely. So but, long story oh, short, Reggie never punched you. Reggie never punched me. <laughs> there were guys in the locker room. We had some pretty good offensive, defensive fights in, in our eagle locker room at a time where there, where there were some hard punches thrown. So you, that, you that is really happened. involved in them. Though. I wasn't really involved in them. No, no, yeah. I stayed the hell away from those. Yeah. Guys. So is this sure. Gogan guy our dad now? <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> this dude was big and man, yeah, he he got me. What can I say? Listen, if I could have got him like that, I would have. But he got me, and he did it so quick and, and 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 fast and short punch. He didn't get flagged or anything. It was pretty impressive. You guys in college, is there fights in the locker room, or is that more of an NFL thing? Um, did you ever see anybody can... fight? Are you about to drop a keep that in house kind of thing? Because that's what you, you <laughs> no. look like. <laughs> no, yeah. I just like, I don't think there was ever a fist fight in our locker room. I saw one guy swung a helmet at another guy at one point. But, uh, but that got, really... that one got kind of out of control, but no one, no one connected and everyone kind of laughed it off. I right. just was amazed at how, like, how much pearl clutching went on with this after Draymond, after the video came out of Draymond punching that dude where he had to like, step away from the team for a little bit and everyone to take it very seriously. I was like, they got mad and they hit each other and they're probably fine yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good punch. He hit him with though. He got him. I mean, he got him with that punch. Yeah. yeah it wasn't was, his first that time. Was connection. Yeah. And that, that shit happens. That doesn't even, if people always ask, I know Mike, you and I, cause we're on air and stuff. When people go at it on the sideline and yelling at one another, I'm like, Man, that doesn't affect me one bit. That's the emotion mm -hmm. of the game. So what? You know, that shit but, just but blows over. But some people over. really don't like each other. No, some people don't. Listen, yeah. I've never said 53 guys in a locker room aren't all singing Kumbaya. There are plenty of guys who I played with who I'd never go out with and plenty of guys who never wanted to hang out with me. But you do what you got to do on the field to win. That's all. Oh, Jen's leaving. Oscar, <laughs> Oscar has a question, and actually so do I, uh, but I'll wait till Jenny comes back for mine. Oscar wants to know, Mike, if you ever saw Buddy Ryan punch anyone. I no, mean, that apart was, from his uh, fellow coaches. That was in Houston, yeah, when he punched the other <laughs> coach. Not when he was with me uh, in Philly. No, I saw him lose his mind and shit a whole lot, but not, not, not go away. He did tell our coaches. He allowed, in training camp, he allowed cutting, which is unheard of. Could you imagine somebody cutting Reggie White and blowing his knee out in practice? And so he allowed cutting. So we had fights all the time. And Buddy Ryan told the coaches, actually told the coaches, if you want to get guys get involved, that's fine. But understand then you're fair game. <laughs> so, I mean, because we had coaches who would start talking shit and the players went after them and Buddy didn't do a damn thing. If anybody wanted to get in, he let him get in it, man. It was it was pretty crazy. I mean, that's kind of the way it should be, though, like especially if you're going to start something, because that was my whole thing. People acted like Jordan Poole got cheap shotted. He walked up to Draymond. They got chest to chest. And then he pushed him. You don't make it physical unless you're ready for it. Like if you can't defend yourself or aren't ready to after that, that's a you problem, bucko. That's yeah, not one, anybody else. The one thing we learned, though, because everybody would jump in, and it would be a scrum. And then one thing Buddy finally said was. All right, no more anybody jumping in. You're going to run. Only the two people that are fighting, you guys fight. So they would fight, but then what we found out is 
you'd have to stay in and do the next play in the next the next period, and mm-hmm. they'd be dead tired. So everybody everybody reasoned, okay, it doesn't make much sense to fight anymore because you're dead ass tired. You've accomplished nothing, and you have to stay in and keep practicing. So, All right, I want to ask this without making it versus. So let me ask, who's the better fighter, Jenny or Sydney? Who's, who's the person you'd least like to get in a fight with between those two? Because I don't know. Sydney's got I've right. known you guys Sydney's for about a year now. I don't know. I think it's neck and neck, honestly. I think yeah. we both bring something different to the table. Yeah. Like, they'd be, they'd be a great a team. Fighter. Yeah, and I got I just got a lot of, like, I'm very lanky, and I feel like yeah. that helps. She's um, got reach. Jenny, have you ever gotten in a fight where you really went after someone? No. no. Sydney, Sydney, didn't you do it outside of a bar? Didn't you? Didn't you take someone out or try to? Um, some girl was trying to come after our friend Hillary. Yep. Um, it was the end of the night at CJ's. It was about probably like two or three in the morning, and for some reason, this girl was just not having it with Hillary. Hillary did nothing, but she charged at Hillary, and I like. I'm pretty sure I like clothesline. What is it called? Where you like? Hold oh yeah, you just yeah, you just like clothesline, and I just, hip like, tossed dropped her. her ass to the ground. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I watched it. It was pretty sick. Yeah, that you was. I mean, I I didn't want to go to jail, so that was it. Well, yeah, and I mean, it's not like that other girl was actually ready for the fight, so right. she got dropped, and it, she wasn't going to do anything. Like she walked over there with the intent to just get in somebody's face, and then she found this lunatic, who I've often said as the strength of like an adolescent chimpanzee. Yeah. Were true. Were any of you guys there? Oh yeah, no, I was right there. I, I watched it happen. All, we're all there. Oh. Yeah. Oh okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Which it holds true with the statement uh, our old producer from ESPN Cliff made, which is every fight at a bar is started by a Long Island iced tea, which is absolutely true at CJ's. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you get confident on those. Um, Jake hey, uh, and somebody wants wants to know. We did this the last pod, Jake and Jenny. You weren't on this. One of the would you rather's was oh. we asked Jake, uh, Mike, and Sydney if they would switch if if Mike would like to be the youngest and Sydney would like to be the oldest. You weren't on it, Jake, and you're the middle, so you're neither. If you had a choice, would you rather be the oldest or the youngest? I'm pretty oldest or youngest. Probably youngest. Sydney's got it pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'm not changing a, a damn yeah, thing. Yeah, you're in a good you're in a good lineup in the batting order there. You're doing good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Youngest for sure. I am the youngest and I like being the youngest. So. Uh-huh. I'm the youngest too. I like being the youngest. Mm-hmm. Same here. You're the youngest. I wonder too. if Yes. Um, I wonder if that would be different if Sydney were the oldest, if if Jake would want to switch with Mike. Oh, yes. no. Yeah. I, There's just I, too, much, too much trial and error with the first one. You got you got to figure everything out. You know, me and Sydney got to kind of learn from his mistakes. Uh, I also made think it a little it's bit a easier. deal being the youngest the and the first, only girl. Jenny, you can vouch for that. Like, it's just, 100%. yeah, it's, it's a big great. difference. But the oldest, the oldest the has smart to go to the first. Yeah, Chris and Mike are the oldest in their family. So, yeah, that, uh, it's a little yeah, more you, responsibility there. You also get a certain level of, like, neurosis that comes with that, though, that yeah. I think oh, it should be, yeah. should be largely avoided if given the yeah. option to. I don't recommend it. Yeah, Jake wouldn't like it. No. Yeah. We should eat these cookies now. Yeah, yeah no, we yeah, should yeah. definitely eat these cookies. So uh, we have gone on this long enough. As always, download, subscribe, rate, and review. Sorry in advance. Wherever you get your podcast, you can get this every couple of weeks here. And a while back, I remember Crumble was trending on the internet, and a lot of people were talking sideways about a brand of cookie that we really love. This is not a sponsored element yet. Crumble, call us. Um, <coughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, so not a sponsored element yet, just a passion project here for everyone. And so we went out. Mikey A has never had Crumble cookie. His kids have already sampled the batch today. Very jazzed about this. So will someone with a better knowledge of okay. these explain the flavors that we're working with and trying today? I got them all. This is Sydney. So, yeah. Right here, I'm going to pick each one up. You got your classic milk chocolate chip cookie. That's uh, sold weekly. That's always in the rotation. This one with the sprinkles is cake batter. You got some white chocolate chips in there, but also cake batter. Well, just cake batter. Overall bread. flavor. Blondie. Blondie. Yes. This one is a little bit more tart. I've had this one before in previous weeks. It is uh, like a raspberry lemonade. Mm. So we um, did skip that one because the kids were adamant that they each get a pink donut one. So okay. ah. we had That's to fair. leave one out. That's the one that didn't make the cut. Okay. Speaking of pink donut, we got it right here. It's very cute, nicely decorated. It looks exactly like a, your classic pink uh, sprinkled donut. 
And the one I really enjoy the most, just because I like ones with frosting, is the pink velvet one. So it's honestly just kind of cakey. Yeah. So pink velvet. Yep. Yes. And again, crumble cookie. They make what five different cookies every every Sunday. They put out an Instagram video of the new cookies that they've made. Uh, if yep. anybody has not tried Crumble, you will love Crumble. Mike, you're going on their podcast in November. You're actually flying to Utah to go on their podcast, correct? Uh, yeah, that's the plan at this point right now. So we'll uh, very excited for that one. If you very need excited. a social assistant, <laughs> yeah, keep me up. I love okay. to below them. So Mikey Golden a, Oreo is my favorite. Which one are you going to try first, Mikey A? You're muted. You're muted. Mikey yeah, you're muted, muted. bud. Oh, uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, I will leave it to the experts to tell me which way to go first. Go, I would say let's go the, the, the velvet one. Pink. All right, we'll go velvet. All right, pink velvet which, which first. Velvet? Pink velvet. All right. With the white frosting. All right. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. It's just oh, good. Boy. It's, it's good. just good. It's really good. Wow. Yeah. So that frosting is like... Isn't it? That frosting is frosting different. To the frosting to cookie ratio. Cream cheese frosting. Yeah. That's so yeah, good. Janet. That's a great call. It's the difference maker. Mm -hmm. 100%. Wow. Cream cheese takes it above and beyond. So. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's a good that baseline. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll go pink Are donut. Are we rating them in order or giving them like specific like 8.6 or whatever? Oh, no. We're They're all 10. No, we're going to rate them in order. That's oh. the paper We score. can rank one through five at the end. Yes. One okay. through five. Yeah. All right, so the donut one next. Yeah. Big fan of a donut. Mm, that's good. Yep. The cake, it's the, the cookie itself is like a cake. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's thick and dense. To answer Wes Varner's question, no luck wrangling a franchise yet. We no. remain hopeful. We remain undeterred. Our families, I think, mean, yeah. If anyone out there from Crumble is in the comments, if you're one of the 73 people in here, please. Yeah. Help us, yes. Yeah, if anybody 74. Knows, we're trying. Yes. We are trying ton desperately. Of passion. Oh, ton of passion. Could you not tell from Sydney? She was yeah. like speaking so eloquently about it. All right. Next one. Which order? I want to, I want to try the, okay. fun, we'll the, the other fun frosting one. The raspberry lemonade. Oh. That's the one Mikey oh, doesn't guys. have. Go for it. I still got to yeah. eat it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a Mikey A problem. Mm. It's like a little lemony but tart. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was good. Jen's not a fan. Jen, you don't like it? It's okay. <laughs> okay. You be careful how you speak. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So, as many people have pointed out, this has quickly turned into ASMR. Yeah. And it's just cool. us chewing into the microphone. So. Yeah. Well, at least people can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I, wow. I guess that's a consolation. Maybe. <laughs> it would be better than just listening to it. Maybe it would oh make funny faces. So the next one's cake batter. Cake yes, batter. I've been wanting cake to batter. try this one. So. Uh, God, I'm getting. This sure one doesn't high. have any frosting on it. Mm. It's like a blondie brownie kind they of They do a lot of different types of like cakey cake batter ones. Mm -hmm. So you'd think they'd put frosting on it, but this one just sprinkles. Yeah, I think it's good without frosting. Though. I am a big frosting guy, though. Mm -hmm. It's a nice change of pace. Uh huh. <laughs> Wes <laughs> asked me, Sid, which one tastes closest to the suppository? What did that taste like? <laughs> for that's a P1. Like for anyone that's, that's a P1 with, uh, fan for this podcast, Canon. Yeah. Uh, at one yes. point, my sister had some sort of medical problem and needed to take a suppository and didn't realize what a butt pill was. And so she just ate it with her mouth. <laughs> and uh, it didn't go great for her. So, uh, do you remember what it tastes like? Um, not good. It was it tasted good. like ass. Like a little, <laughs> like chemically, like a little chemically, I guess. And that's and why I kind of, I called poison you called control. Called poison she, control act, she laughed yeah. at me. She actually yeah. cracked up on the phone. I was like, "Aren't you supposed to be helping me?" Well, that's. I, yeah, I, I feel like working for poison that. control is kind of like being a parent where you're not supposed to laugh at the messed up stuff. Like, Jake and Jenny, have you thought about that? Like, not having to laugh at the messed up shit that Jax is eventually going to do? We laugh at him now, with the way he, like, poops and stuff. That is true. Jake, you videotape every poop. Jake sends out yeah. videos of Jackson pooping because the sound quality Something is incredible. Yeah. 
It is incredible. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. wait, Je stay Jenny, do the impression of of Jackson doing his little hand stretch too. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jake and Jenny, the holidays are coming up, and something I did was I had a picture of my son's massive blowout poop blown up and framed, and gave it to my brother, and it to this oh. day still hangs in his man den. I no! mean, it is it is absolutely incredible. <laughs> So, wow. just if you're in that mindset for the holidays. You're yep. always in that mindset. Are you kidding me? Oh. That's true. That Mike, don't act like you wouldn't hang it either. Jake sent yeah, us a picture of an awful blowout the other day, and it was not a great time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when the shit goes up. Uh, all right, last, last cookie. Chocolate chip. Uh, well, awesome. chip. It's, it's I, I ate it already. No, we ate it right. It's your basic chocolate chip. It, I love it. It's like a great staple. It's... God, do I need some milk people right now. Sh people shit on their chocolate chip cookies, and I want to fight those people. Also, people that shit on crumble in general, I'm like, do you guys have any taste? Like, <laughs> you can go to school, but you can't buy class. No, exactly, exactly. Ugh. Oh, that's so good. All right, who's ranking? Yeah, uh, Sydney, Sydney, Jenny, as you, and mom and dad. You, I feel like you guys are the resident experts on this. You want to lead the charge in the rankings? Okay. I, I like Jenny going with a little go palate with, cleanser. Let's go, with, go with your fifth, because we have I'll five. Go. Right? Tart. Jenny. I'm going to put probably tart at five, the raspberry and, lemonade one. See, I'm putting that at second. I like wow. it. Wow. Wow. I'm, pro I'm probably putting the uh, the donut at, the, or the chocolate chip, just because chocolate chip. Chocolate chip will be my yeah, fifth. Yeah, be my it's fifth. always around. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I guess. Yeah. I'd agree. I was alternating between chocolate chip at fourth and the right. raspberry at fifth. Yeah. Those right. are interchangeable, kind of. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and I then I'd, probably, I'd probably put the donut at four. I'd go donut three, cake batter two, a pink velvet one. I think oh. the pink velvet will be one for me. It will yeah. be for me too. And then the tart one will be, the other icing would be number two for me. Because here's cake the thing about crumble. The, which one's the number one for you, Jen? Cake batter. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. interesting. Yeah. And then donut two, pink velvet three. Damn. Wow. Down on the frosting, wow. Jen. You're a big wow. frosting and I, I'm a big frosting person. I eat it out wow. of the tube constantly. So did you not like the frosting on the velvet one? I did, but I prefer more of the buttercream than the cream cheese. Oh, okay. Ah, all right. Gotcha. Fair enough. Mikey, which was your favorite, Mikey, eh? So I would go number five for me was the cake batter blondie thing. Okay. Number four would be the donut. Number three is chocolate chip. Number two is the red velvet or the pink velvet, I guess. And number one, I guess you guys didn't get this. I got the sugar cookie with the oh, oh. yeah, oh, we, we yeah, yeah. The with the pink sugar. frosting. That That's, that one was number one. That one's always there too. Yeah, so, that yeah. would be my number one too. I've had it before. Yeah, that yeah. one's number one. And the people, it's like their least favorite always. It went away for a bit because it wasn't popular. I don't know. The Again, golden... I don't know what the fuck these people are thinking, but like, Golden Oreo has been my favorite out of all the ones I've had. Golden Oreo. Yeah, yeah. Jenny loved that one. Oh. Does it involve icing? Yes. Yes. See, yes. I think the reason I gravitate towards the icing and crumble in general is they remind me of those store bought cookies from the grocery yes. store. Mm hmm. They're just yes. a, they're like the upgraded, Elevated, bougie yes, version bougie. of that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're just a agree. denser version. Yep. God, I that's, can't wait till we own a crumble. That's one of the true marks of a human being that I look for. If you, for some reason, dump on that brand of cookie from the grocery store, yes. then I feel like there's something deeply wrong with you. It's that. And if you don't cry watching Armageddon. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh my God. Yeah. So, I watched that the other day for a podcast and sobbed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Jen? So, um, it's a good first date it. conversation. Do you cry during Armageddon? How do you feel about store bought yeah. ice cream? Mm -hmm. It is. It's a fair I question. Mean, if you can do make you it think to you're the. Always dying? <laughs> the, the, oh, God. The, the, yeah, honestly, listen, these are important things. Where do you go when you die? The answer is yeah. nowhere. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no. The first the first time I cry in that movie is when they're out at the ruins and Harry and his daughter are out there for the first time having the conversation about him going to space. It just destroys me. It's good first stuff. Time I get an cracker, I like put it across the body. You know how like yeah, do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Tuck it into his little belt. Do you do, you, do, you do, do the fake Australian, Australian voice? 
<laughs> Jake's like, how many times are we gonna do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, to the ample plains. <laughs> oh, absolute Mikey, sicko what stuff. Were you say? I was gonna say I, I'm I'm almost positive uh, Gojo will know this, but do you know this last weekend was apple fritter time over by ESPN in Southington? <sighs> Oh, in oh. Southington, Chris and I were brother in Christ. Phenomenal. So, oh. yeah, I have a bag of apple fritters and these oh. cookies, and decisions yeah. will be made later that will affect <laughs> me for the next three days. Yeah. Well, Actually, it'll those... affect you for the rest of your life. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> is, there, is there any better sight than the bag of apple fritters when it's just sweating? Yep. Oh. So good. When all that grease is pumping through the bag and you get it and it's nice and oily and yeah. you reach your hand in and you just go, oh, get that first fritter. Mm-hmm. There's got to be some place in Indiana that does that too. Yeah. I got to be down the yeah. street. Yeah. It's Indiana. <laughs> oh. I know, right? So we got to find that. Yeah, we got to find that. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Sid, do you want to yeah. do your question? Oh yeah. I can, yeah, that's a bit of a 180, but sure. Yep, we'll uh, yeah. we'll time this out here. Ben's brain buster, uh, often imitated, uh, sometimes duplicated by Sydney, supposed to be a chance for people that listen to this podcast to actually learn something because mostly we just spit poison in your face and eat cookies, but occasionally we'll learn you something. And uh, Sydney is acting on behalf of Ben since he's doing doctor stuff. So Sydney, good luck pronouncing these words. He picked one because I get to say penis. All right. All right. So before I say this question, you have two of the four answers are correct. So you have to pick two of the answers. Okay. All right, two of four. I like that. Okay. What two terminal branches of the punedal nerve solely supply sensory innervation? A, inferior rectal nerve. Oh, God. B, perineal nerve. Perineal nerve, perineal nerve. I practiced okay. that one last night. Okay. Three, dorsal nerve of the penis and clitoris. D. <laughs> she can't even say it. Posterior, D, posterior, posterior scrotal slash labial nerve. Can you repeat the question again? Yeah. What two terminal branches of the Punidal nerve, punidal nerve, solely <laughs> supply sensory innervation. A, I'm going with, in, yeah. Go ahead. A, inferior in. rectal nerve. B, perineal nerve. C, dorsal nerve of the penis slash clitoris. D, posterior scrotal and labial nerve. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go A and C. I'm going A and C as well. I'm going A and D, ass and balls. <laughs> I'm going I'm C go- and D. I'm going ass and dick. Go <laughs> whichever one, whichever one is ass and then C. Jake, okay. Jake, what did you want? B Jake. and D. B and D. And I went C and D. You guys are all wrong. It was C and what? D. That's what I said. That's what, That's what mom said. just said. Oh, I'm Literally sorry. I wasn't listening. A moment ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so the dorsal nerve of the penis and clitoris and the posterior scrotal slash labial nerve. Woo! Butt play is out. I still yeah. don't know what that, any of that, that means. That means, that means cup the balls. Those are the uh. answers. <laughs> Mind the stepchildren. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! I, I'm what two it means? For two on the, you on are. The, you got two the question. Two on the medical question. Yeah, last week it had something to do with Vegas. Yeah. Well, head on down to Mayo and get in that class. Woo! I mean, medical school, like it's hard. Hard. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, good job, Sid. Um, Where you go, Sid? Great, We're great job, out. Sydney. Um, normally, we also do a "Would you rather?" Jenny said she's brought one to the party here. Dad usually does these, so I'm very curious what Jen felt so compelled by the spirit. Oh no no it's 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 a it's not like anything bad this time. I was thinking about this the other day. Could, would you rather we handed five million dollars cash or get to redo the last ten years of your life? Oh, I'm behind the way I think on this. Oh, one. I'm going cash again. I I enjoy my life. <laughs> 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 Everything went pretty well. I mean, oh, actually, I'm going to change it. Last fifteen years. 
Uh, last still. 15 years or 5 million cash. Can I, can I choose last 10 versus last 15? Mm. No, don't give me your choice. Your 20s could be very beneficial. Not you personally. No. I mean, it, me personally, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, you can't. Five million or the last ten years of your life? No, we're changing it to fifteen. Relive the relive the last fifteen. No, but no. You here's a very important part of this. You know what you know now. Oh, and see, I can't. I'd be in jail because I would kill some people. (laughs) (laughs) Dark. Oh my god. I would. I I would kill some people if I knew what was going to be happening. They they would be afraid of me. Shit, that that got dark. I, yeah, yeah. I could change my mind because I would know to go in on a crumble cookie franchise soon. <laughs> so well, this well, is this is my thought process: is knowing what I know now, what would I like invent or invest yep. in? Like, so you're saying you could make more than five million dollars? Crypto was dollars. us in college. Like, imagine if you hit that just right when it got big that one time, you'd have more than five million dollars. Buddy, I would have invented OnlyFans and been so <laughs> rich. So rich. I think I think I would do the 15 years. I think you can make more than five mil. Sure. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I, I think. I'll go back and Jake? do 15 years again. Yeah, for sure. That yeah, means you got to sure. go through school again. You know that, Yeah, right? Jake, yeah, you ready to go to school again? I'm going to try this time. Okay. Oh. That is true. Knowing what you know now, you could actually yeah. learn stuff. That'd be I'd be so much more engaged at college. Yeah. Well, that's what I say. Like college is wasted on young people because if you guys went back now with a little bit of life experience, like it would be way more beneficial to you. That wouldn't have been such a, a piece of shit. Old. Right. Hi, what are I, taxes? How do we do those? Yeah. I will say the thought of hitting or being hit by someone right now, though really not something that would excite me no but i mean you get to be you get to go back as your 18 year old self i get it but if i i I guess i'd have that kind of energy again hangovers don't hurt as much on the juice in high school i'd be on the juice in high school (laughs) oh man would you still date me no You guys for sure would have gone to a different high school. Yeah. They might have shipped you off to a different state to go to high school. Yeah, yeah. Um, I God, Jake's so right. It would have just been steroids. It would have been. I'd have looked like Tony Vanderich. <laughs> <Like, laughs> <high quality. laughs> yeah. yeah. I just pictured Jake just being like, uh, Jake, you know, you got to go take that test. Why? I already know I failed it. Like, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't have to do that. Why, why do I have to do that? I know what I get. If you got an F, why waste your two hours? I'm from the future. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe that'd be a great pickup line now. too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, All right, I have one. That I was have, a good I, question, Jack. That was I really. Good. That is it? Yeah. yeah. That was very All good. Right, I have one that affects that has affected everybody. So you're gonna have to choose. Um, would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green, or never stand in line again? Never stand, never, stand never, never stand in line. Never stand in line. Wow. Never stand in line. Yeah. Never, oh, never stand in line. line. Like the Starbucks ever. line in the airport oh. or ever at an amusement park. Like, I mean, forget the Starbucks stand. line. You'd never stand in line at security again. Right. Ever. Yeah. Anywhere. That's You'd never stand in line at an amusement park at a roller coaster. You're just a sure. human fast pass now. The DMV. Yeah. yeah. Oh, All right. That's a good one. As usual. To choose that. Yeah. As cool usual, thing. though, I have a clarifying question, though. Yeah. Does everybody yeah. else still have to stand in line? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Fuck those people. Then yes, because I want to walk past them and be like, yeah. I played Would You Rather and I won, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That, is, exactly. that is always an un- I will say that is a very uncomfortable feeling for me as someone with TSA pre-check and clear. When clear. you get walked to the front of a very long line, yeah. I yeah, always yeah. end up tilting the hat down and keeping yeah. a low profile. Yeah, it's very awkward. Because again, while I understand everyone's got the ability to do this. It's somewhat cost prohibitive. You know, it's a little on the pricey side, so not everyone can afford it, but it's technically available to everyone. I still feel uncomfortable going and essentially cutting the line. Right. Right, let me amend it, though. And not only do you not have any red lights, you never hit traffic again. That's a big change. That's a that's a big. It's a big change. You guys in Boston. Yeah. If I still lived in Chicago, Man. I might take that. <laughs> yeah. Go in Boston. That's a game changer. I'd go with lines. 
I don't go out. And, and no, I'm going to go traffic. If you had traffic, I go traffic. Traffic's yeah. not very bad in Scottsdale, so I'm still no. online. Yeah, I'm still yeah. going online. Jake and Jenny want the traffic. I'm going yeah, traffic. I'm going yeah. traffic yeah. 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 I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't wow. Blame you. It becomes much more predictable when you can get right. through traffic. That's yeah. How yeah. much easier your life would be between the mm -hmm. studios if you were like in a fast lane and never had anybody stop in front of yeah, you. Night and day. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It would change everything, so. Yep. All right. That's all I got. One yeah. each. That was good. Those are good ones. Those were good ones. Yeah. Also, so. just like a little, like, just to help you guys out here who are listening, the mom brought up the Starbucks thing in airports. Just get the app and order ahead. Yep. Do mobile order. It's waiting for you. You don't have to stand in line. Can you do that in airports? Yes, you can. They have I spots. I did it yesterday. It. Like, like at oh, O'Hare, they have airports? pick up order. Yeah. Wow. All I airports, didn't know that. there's some, like the, when we were in Vegas, there was only one that was no order ahead, but there was like eight in the Vegas airport. And that I ordered it and it was ready five minutes later. And I just walked up and I grabbed it. Wow. Yeah. By the way, speaking of that great Vegas trip, big Notre Dame win over BYU. Everything was great for the trip except the gambling part. But it sucked. It sucked. It was but, awful. Uh, what a great, what a nice trip that was. What a great stadium. Uh, the, the Raiders stadium. And yeah. that was, that was a yeah. lot of fun. It was great. It was, it was oh. a fun game. What were you Allegiant kicks. Oh, I don't know. I was waiting for Jake and Jenny because I think they were muted and Jenny looked like she was going to say something. No, Jenny just said that there were 69 people watching and had, wanted to point that out. <laughs> hey. Hey. Nice. Nice. Hey. Nice. Hey. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Well, yeah, no, yeah. It, it looked like it looked like a fun time. You guys were all out there. I was uh, – I, I realized yet again, I'm just not responsible enough to watch Notre Dame games in public. I was at the press box at NC State, and I came down at halftime to get hot dogs and pot stickers, which shout out, honestly, shout out to the NC State press box. Best eats we've had so far this season, which was a low bar to clear up until this point, but they, uh, they threw down on dessert. I found out one unit of dessert technically in the NC State press box is two cookies and a brownie, so they understand portions. But that the Notre Dame impressive. BYU game was on during in halftime in the press box, and at one point when Notre Dame threw that interception in the third or fourth quarter, I slammed the table and had to like muffle the, the fuck under my breath. <laughs> and I saw several people look at me, and I just looked at the rest crew. I was like, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I keep talking want, wanting to be the alternate feed on Peacock for the Notre Dame games, and yeah. you say nope. you can't do that. Sim simply cannot. I am simply no. no. I had to stop tweeting during games for that reason. The last time I live tweeted a game was when Notre Dame beat Clemson. You guys were there. I was drunk in your guys' living room doing that, and it was not cute. It was not cute. <laughs> I think people would appreciate seeing you because you're kind of like the every fan. Yeah, though. yeah. Like you get mad. Like I just don't know else if that would be good so. for his health. No, it's yeah, yeah. That's 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 the thing. And I like you know I I don't know man like it I, I like that's the one thing I do try and explain to people is. When it comes to, because a lot of times people assume that if you played sports at a certain level or work a job in the media, you're not actually a fan like everyone else. I promise I'm a bigger Notre Dame fan than you. It yes. ruins my life. My whole family has borne witness to that. So it's, it's, it still has the ability to ruin my weekend in a way that it should not for a 33 year old adult man who actually got to play football there. <laughs> Dan and I were talking about it. Your level of intensity for it has not changed since high school. No, nope, no, nope. it is not. You're still the, still a lunatic when it's on. So I, I thought, I thought it would be different. get easier over time. Yeah. So well, I want to be uh, better. Two, <laughs> two things from the comment section here for us. We're, again, this we were this is about we were in Vegas for the Notre Dame game. Uh, Ryan asked, "Sid, did you use Dad's card for drinks this weekend?" Ryan, I use my dad's Sid card for everything this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> Sid, Sid and Ben were in Vegas with Chris and I at the game. Uh, Kelly wants to know, is the gambling better at four wins? We yes. think so. Yes. Four wins. There's a four wins here in South Bend, which is a very we nice casino. Go, by the way. Yes. Yeah. I've decided something after being in Vegas, that Vegas is not, um, fun. You don't Good. Win as much in no, you don't win as much. <laughs> like I've been like three times and I did win one big jackpot one time in yep. Vegas. Um, but since then I've had no luck and I feel like. You have much better luck at the smaller casinos than you do at the big casinos. I, they, I don't know if you have to be a high roller and play like $200 a poll, but I just don't have any luck. So I think I'm down on Vegas oh, for gambling. Yep. 
Well, I'm, Oscar, Oscar wants to know when are we live streaming your gambling, Chris? Uh, you know what? If I do it, I'm going to do it from Four Winds because yep. they have every machine that they had in Vegas, and your odds are way better here than they are in I Vegas. I agree. So. I agree. Um, so let me yeah. ask you, uh, Golix, how many subscribers do we need to this YouTube channel for us to do a live uh, Notre Dame watch watch party? Oh, wow. oh God! Sixty nine hundred people. <laughs> Yeah, sixty nine hundred and sixty nine people. How many do we have Come right on. now? <laughs> well, we got we six. We have a hundred, almost two hundred, I think, in the area. No, well, well over, oh, almost three hundred. Okay. I mean, we, we just we just started asking like yeah. two, days two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. So yeah. Um, I don't know. We could come up with something, and that's and, a good idea. That yeah, would be a good idea. So. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, we have 306 subscribers uh, currently. So okay. I don't know the rules. If we do something like that, can we actually show the TV while the game? No, no, we can't. no. You can show you guys. Reaction. Yeah. Why don't we well, do that until we get I, in trouble? I know. Well, <laughs> I, I know. I know. I know of a way that we could do that. And oh, you do. I am, That's right. Yes, I am yes. certainly willing to. Uh, explore that option if we get to i don't know what do you guys want to make it like 1500 subscribers that's a good yeah. number good yeah something number. worth it you know no, like, something you, aspirational you're never going to be able to be with us though right mike won't well no we wouldn't have to be together uh, I, but, but you're, you're calling game we could do it for bowl games because he doesn't call those we could do yeah, that. Could yeah. You'd have to do it. You'd have to do it on a you know Notre Dame off week, or uh, I mean, well, no, Mike, Mike, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike off week, or if Notre yeah. Dame is playing early and Mike's doing a game late, something like that. Probably. Let's, let's say the bowl game. Yeah, let's say bowl game because uh, you know he's preparing for his game, so we don't want bring to bring in some friends. Work. Yeah, but we could bring in some friends, and yep. we could do it for the bowl game. That's That'd a good cool. idea. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. So. There you go. 15, 1,500 people buy the bowl game. Lock it in. Yeah. Tell yeah, your no, friends. That's, that's come to Tell your friends. Or... Yep. <laughs> what did you say, Jen? Would we come to Arizona? I, hey, if they go to the Fiesta Bowl. Well, they're I mean, if we're going to watch it. But then how would we? What you if we want to go to the like Fiesta Bowl and then, they're, then we can't do it? They're, they're not going to make the Fiesta Bowl. They've lost two games already. I, I, I saw a tweet from somebody that said the Fiesta Bowl has entered the picture. Are you believing anything on Twitter? I mean, it was from a person. It was from a person listen, who's if they ran the, the table now, that means it would be Clemson and USC. They'd be up. For yeah, the I guess it's true. But that's they, that's going to be a tough call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a believer. Yeah, I'm a believer. So okay, but yeah, if uh, if they make anything but the Fiesta Bowl, how yeah, about we'll, that? We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll attempt to do a game. Let's yes. let's just put it at that. Yeah. We'll see there how we it go. goes. You guys do the work of subscribing to this podcast yeah. YouTube channel, and then we'll yeah. worry about doing the work after that for the yeah. game yes. watch uh, potentially here, so you can watch me in my absolute worst form and judge me accordingly. <laughs> yeah, <very> um, <laughs> But uh, in the meantime, uh, in addition to downloading, subscribing, rating, and reviewing this podcast the way you normally do, wherever you get your podcast, leaving us a five-star rating and a review, make sure you also check out the Sorry in Advance YouTube page. That's how you got here and are watching this, and we appreciate you doing sh so. The 75 or so of you that showed up at any given time during the course of just chat, we're glad it wasn't zero. We thought it was that at the beginning, you. and we we're very we were worried. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to everyone that showed up here. Thank you to Super Producer Mikey A for putting this yes. together yes, and Mikey, getting to taste Christ saving light of crumble cookies. We're going to go and uh, get ready to baptize baby here in the next couple of days and wow. try and steer him on the path to Christ saving light. <laughs> <laughs> crumble, call us. Yeah. Yes, call, please. please. Crumble, please. baby, listen, sponsor the bowl game you. watch. I'm begging you. <laughs> We're begging. So thank you everyone for checking this out. As always, we're sorry in advance. I am not.